Gore in Venice is a 1979 giallo film from director Mario Landi. With a title like that, the movie can only open in one way. Oh, I thought it was going to be this. Oh wait, what's going on? This guy's being stabbed, this woman can't swim, and this guy's having a nightmare? After such a horrific opening, what music did they use to set the tone? This can't be right. Did I accidentally put on Dagmar's hot pants? Nope, there's the title. Giallo in Venice? Wait, does Giallo translate to gore? Oh, no, good. I thought for a second Giallo had a hidden other meaning. The police are investigating the murder of these two people, so I guess it wasn't a bad dream. Either this guy is really tall, or the department is cheaping out on coroner blankets. This corpse seems to be breathing. Our hero is Inspector DePaul, played by the lead singer of Nickelback. Investigating a crime scene in white pants, that's brave. The captain talks to the inspector. It's something new I'm trying. This is Jack Nicholson. He then tells him the woman drowned and the guy was stabbed to death by something, but they don't know what. The inspector gets stopped by Italian Kojak. He tries and fails to crack his egg on his pipe. They notice a nosy gentleman and go to interrogate him. The old man insists he didn't see anything. Over at the police station, Officer Egg Cop is having lunch. The cop comes in to tell him what he got out of the old guy. The chief of police calls. Two murders in the middle of tourist season? The inspector tells him he'll get right on it as soon as egg time is over. He then tells the cop his suspicion. But I thought it was all about drugs. All this chat has the inspector in the mood for more eggs. In another part of town, a woman gets a phone call. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Amy Schumer doesn't live here. Marzia hangs up and the inspector asks her some questions. Do you know how important it is to eat a steady diet of eggs? Marzia is a prostitute that was friends with Flavia, the murdered girl. She is overcome with grief. Calm down, dear. Here, have an egg. She explains her history with Flavia while the inspector has his 12th egg of the day. How is he not farting constantly? Conoscevo molto bene anche la sua famiglia, ma poi ci siamo persi di vista quando frequentavo l'università. Poi lei si è sposata, sa com'è. Si cambia vita, si conoscono persone nuove. Ci si rivede solo per caso. E così è successo tra me e Flavia. She tells him she didn't like Flavia's husband, Fabio. Marzia then talks about Fabio's unusual sex habits. Sex habits? No, this isn't nunsploitation again. At least not this week. Flavia said it all started one day on a boat. Fabio noticed a guy checking Flavia out, so he decided to put on a show. They get off the boat, and the guy follows them playing pocket pool. He's not being very stealthy. They decide the best place to have sex is between two old rusted out boats. I hope their shots are up to date, otherwise they're going to have a fun time explaining how they both got lockjaw. Fabio is excited that the yuppie is watching him do it. Finally, Flavia notices that they're being watched. She is not happy with him. That night they're sitting around having dinner. I've never been this uncomfortable around seafood. Flavia has seen enough, so she goes to bed. Did I do something wrong? Fabio has a drink and also goes to bed. She asks him to never do what they did today again. His response? You don't want people to watch us doing it. What are you, a Quaker? Do they even have Quakers in Italy? After some more talk, the two, um, how can I even show this? I've got it. Here is a 100% accurate visual depiction of the next few minutes of the movie. Oh, God, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mm, mm. Flavia is upset that Fabio finished quickly, so she starts thinking about Resident Evil 2. Meanwhile, Fabio is studying the Karma Sutra. Fabio goes digging into bird poop to find his stash? 
and I think it just discovered patient zero of the avian flu. Since Fabio is high on goofballs, he goes to the bedroom and whips Flavia. Wait a minute. I'm just remembering that this was all a flashback. Why was Marzia telling the inspector all these unnecessary details? The inspector leaves, and Marzia calls someone. Marzia has lunch with this guy. She tells him all about the inspector. Meanwhile, the cop is searching her place. Marzia tells the guy about her crazy ex, and I'm going to assume it's this guy. The cop finds pictures of Marzia, Fabio, Flavia, and some other people in a good old-fashioned orgy. All these pictures put the inspector in the mood for eggs. The coroner comes in, and the inspector pays him in the only currency he knows. Eggs. In another part of town, a prostitute is working out of a trash dump. The creep from a minute ago shows up and solicits this lady's services. She takes him back to the love nest, this soiled mattress. Ugh. I caught several STDs just by looking at it. He's not really there for the sex. He's there to stab her in the crotch with scissors. Dear Lord! The police arrive and notice that this girl was also at the orgy. The inspector talks to Marzia, and this guy apparently is her current boyfriend. He's interrogating them with what else? An egg! The couple both have alibis for the murders. The inspector is back to thinking that drugs are to blame. Another flashback. Who is telling who about this? Anyway, Fabio is ready to have sex again, and gets all turned on by Flavia doing the laundry. He decides to take their love to a new level by, uh... Now they go to the movies and start messing around while Billy Joel checks him out. He decides to join in. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. He then... Oh, dear God, I was not expecting this. The dude on camera proceeds to... Um... Rough up the suspect? Punch the clown? Spank the monkey? For real. I joke about censoring things for YouTube, but this absolutely should be censored. This goes past softcore straight into hardcore territory. The inspector gets a tip about a suspect, so he questions this artist. He explains he used to date Flavia, but she left him for Fabio. A delivery boy stops by with groceries. Fabio convinces her to do something that she really doesn't want to do. Well, that's one way to get free delivery. They finish up quickly, and he leaves. Buongiorno. The delivery boy's like, I just nutted. Bonjour. Marco goes to see Marzia. Meanwhile, this guy's doing his Spider-Man impression. He looks in and sees the couple doing the sex. Marco leaves, and the creepy guy follows. Si può sapere cosa vuoi da me? Questo. Oh, that's terrible. But what's he going to do now? Oh, no! I think he almost set himself on fire. Oh my god, he's melting plastic, man. Creepy guy Andrea goes to see Marzia. He beats her unconscious and ties her to the table. I'm just realizing, isn't this movie called Gore in Venice? Aside from the prostitute getting stabbed, it's been pretty tame gore-wise. Anyway... Let's see what he does to Marzia. What in the actual f- The next day, the maid comes into the house and finds Marzia. The police get a lead on Andrea. 25? With that hairline? No wonder he's killing people. The police grab him, and suddenly his mirror sunglasses aren't mirrors. They take him in for questioning. The inspector then tells him the whole story. Three months ago, Andrea fell in love with Marzia. She left him for Marco, so Andrea went crazy. He finds out they've been having orgies, so he decides to kill them all. It seems like he's guilty, but it turns out he's only guilty for three of the murders, not five. So the police continue to investigate. That can only mean one thing. More eggs. The cops go to see Bruno and find him holding the bloody scissors. The inspector then cleans off the evidence. Bruno tells him what happened. Flavia called to say the two made up, and they were back together. They were going to spruce up their house, so they went curtain shopping and bought scissors. The inspector then goes to talk to the old man. If he had said this earlier, the movie would have been over an hour ago. Fabio and Flavia had a fight.
Fabio convinces her if she does one more thing for him, he'll see a doctor about his sex addiction. What does she have to do for him? Um, it involves two dock workers that leave her crying after stealing her underpants. So, not good. The inspector goes to talk to the workers. They then fill him in on the remaining piece of the puzzle. The one guy went back because he dropped his cigarette and saw the couple fighting. Flavia has had it with Fabio and stabs him to death with the scissors she bought earlier. She then jumps in the water to drown herself. Bruno sees him and jumps in to save her, but he's too late. I guess he doesn't know CPR. For some reason, he picks up the murder weapon and takes it home. The end. I guess we just come up with what happens next. Bruno goes to a therapist. These two go to prison for rape. Andrea is given a lifetime sentence for triple murder. And the inspector has his colon irrigated because it's full of egg. Gore in Venice was mostly shot in Venice, Italy. It was directed by Italian director Mario Landi. He directed his first film, Songs in the Streets, in 1950. He directed a fair amount of Italian TV movies. And in 1979, he also directed Super Sexy Market, which I am currently trying my best to track down. The movie was released during a wave of European horror films from the late 70s and early 80s. When it was released, it was heavily edited, and the versions released not only were censored, but they also had mistranslated subtitles. There was a rumor of an uncut copy of the film existing, and it was evidently discovered in one of the most unusual places, in the attic of a Portuguese dental clinic. The movie was restored, and the fully uncut version was officially released. While the movie technically is a giallo, the name Gore in Venice suits it better. It's one of the most unsavory, lurid, and downright sleaziest Eurocrime films ever released. Certain moments are genuinely shocking, like the guy in the movie theater, or what happens to Marzia, not to mention what Flavia goes through. I'm actually really intrigued by the movie, so don't be surprised if I do an exploring video on this sometime down the road. Gore in Venice if you're looking for a sick, depraved, trashy, gore-soaked sex thriller that pulls absolutely zero punches, you should see Gore in Venice. Just be prepared for a story that has no real resolution and a cop that has an unending hunger for hard-boiled eggs. Tu credi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ma sei impazzito! <laughs>